The Great Search, every single week where Lady Ada uses all of her powers of engineering to show you how to find all the cool things on digikey.com. Lady Ada, this week there was a forum post, there was a person who had a question. Um, do you want to show the forum post? you want to show the thing? What do you want to do? Yeah, let's go to the forum post first. All right. Okay. And if you all ever have a uh, Desk of Lady Ada Great Search thing, uh, post it up in the forums because uh, that way we'll definitely see it, but you can also like you know, put it in chat. This was great that. timing. Yeah. This was great timing. All right, so what is it this week? Okay, so Eric um, says, I've purchased many Adafruit sensor breakout boards, can't resist them, and I recently bought three BME 280 sensor boards. The green LED on that board is so bright and beautiful, I want to order them for myself to use in my projects. Can you tell me what the part number is? I'm living in the Netherlands, but I can order from, from Farnell and Digikey. Digikey ships internationally, and people love doing that. Um, Oh my god. Every time we say DigiKey, that's the secret word of the day. Yay! Scream real loud. Woo, 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 woo. All right. That's like our, our spare phone. Um, weird. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, okay. So somebody wants to know about these green LEDs. So let's go to the overhead real fast and look at this green LED. Okay. So this LED, it's an 0603 LED. Um, and it's our power indicator LED that we put on our module to let you know that it's plugged in and powered. Um, really handy. You want to make sure that your power, your system is, is working. It's a great little visual indicator to make sure that it's plugged in. Um, especially since some boards like this one does not have a power LED a lot. Some of our, some of our boards do not. A lot of our feathers don't. Um, so this LED is an 0603 LED, and it's an ultra-high brightness 0603 LED, and it's green. And so I picked those two things for a reason. One, uh, human eyesight is most sensitive to green. Like, green is blindingly bright to us compared to other colors. Um, you're going to get a little bit more boost for the current, like, for the amount of photons hitting your eye, you're going to get the most oomph out of green. Now... It, Technically, it's 550 nanometers. Um, this is a 525, 530 nanometer um, LED. And the reason I do that is because there's a couple different uh, fit, like uh, semiconductor physics techniques to make LEDs. You can like bond materials together to make that PN diode um, that's emitting light. And the red, yellow, and yellow-green LEDs um, use one, I think it's InGAN, and those I find you are not as bright as to the eyes than when you go with um, the green, the pure green or blue or white LEDs, and they use a, a different um, chemistry. And I find those to be like much brighter and clearer. And so, you know, normally um, on LEDs that, like I will show a Hold on. I'm trying to find, I actually don't. Okay, so I have a Metro. Let me show a Metro LED. So if you look on here, these LEDs, now they're quite bright, but these are using uh, red, yellow, and yellow green. And you can see the difference in the yellow green versus the bright green. It, it is like, this is a, a, a 20 milliamp LED. And this one I'm driving at like 100 microamps or less. So I'm using much, much less power because it's a high brightness LED with that pure green output. Um, it's going to be much brighter than um, these yellow green LEDs. And the side effect of that is that I use much less power, but it looks quite good despite it. But you're going to pay a little bit more. So that's why I used a pure green LED, even though on many dev boards I tend not to. I tend to use the you know red um, yellow and yellow green LEDs on those. Um, for the STEM EQTs, I, I make them a little specialer, pure green. So let's go to DigiKey and show how to find um, the pure green LED. So uh, first I found this like cool mental floss article about like the, the brightest color that it is that our eyes can see and it's 555 five, five nanometers and it's about a jacket. But yeah, like Green LEDs, you got to be careful because they can really blind people. Um, you can also use, you know, blue LEDs, but I think blue LEDs are a little passe. So um, let's go to DigiKey. And uh, so let's search for an 0603 LED. So 
0603 green. Well, let's not search for green. Let's search for 0603 LED. And we want a discrete LED. Again, there's kits, there's arrays, there's all sorts of stuff. But we want just individual LEDs. Um, one thing to watch for is, you know, and I, I have been bit by this, there's 0603 metric and there's 0603 imperial. 99% of the time when somebody you're talking to is talking about 1206, 0805, 0603 LEDs, they mean imperial, which means in metric, it's 1608. I know. It's like, why, why did they do this? We've always, I thought we were not going to have two confusing measurement systems. That's what it is. Um, so let's pick 0603, whatever, 1608 metric. Um, and then, again, you can pick the wavelength peak, right? We, wanted, we, we were talking about this. We want to pick, um, there's dominant and there's peak. I mean, you're going to pay if you want to have like specifically binned LEDs. But let's just go with, you know, between like 510 and like 560 or something. Why not? And then um, you're going to pick the millicandela neck. Well, actually, let's go with active so we get rid of all the ones that are not that active. So the millicandela rating. So, you know, millicandela is, is just, you know, basically how bright is it? Now, Unfortunately, some LEDs are tested at one milliamp or five or 10 or 20. So this is not going to be, you know, you can't always compare apples to apples if you're really specifically looking for a certain type of LED. But in this case, I'm just gonna tell you to, to make the LED use a 10K resistor so it's bright enough to be human visible but uses very little power, not, not being driven at the full 20 milliamps. You'll want something like 500 millicandela. So let's go to 400 and pick up to like about 900. Okay. Um, I think there's actually a pretty good place. Yeah, you can see current test. So this is it's a little bit of my pet peeve. I wish all the LEDs were always tested the same current, but they're not. Um, next up, it's remember I said, you know, there's there's different, you know, physics for the, the semiconductors used for the LEDs. Um, they don't seem to have a way to search for that. However, I'll tell you that if you get something with three plus um, forward voltage, that'll, that'll get you the ones that are pure green as opposed to um, just plain green. So let's apply. And then uh, lens type. So I don't like the dome top kinds. Let's see if there's a photo of one of them. I'll show you what I, what I don't like. So these are the dome top. Some people really dig these. I, I don't. I don't know why. It kind of it gives me the willies. I, like I think they look better not lit up and not on boards, but like this is a cool piece of technology. It's super cool. Like it looks cool. It's like one of the, it's like clothing sometimes. Like it always looks good. Like but then you the, take it home, you put on it on. Mannequin. Uh, it looks good on the mannequin, but yeah. it's like later on, it's like that totally does not look good on me. <laughs> so let's go with the... <laughs> Rectangle with flat top. Um, and then I think we already picked active. Yeah, folks like okay. the, the pure green LED trick. Like, pure green, uh, pure green. Yeah. Okay, and here we go. So we got a lot, a couple options. So as usual, you know, when we're looking at these jelly bean types, generic components, you know, resistors, LEDs, capacitors, even some regulators or transistors, you're going to have a couple options. Um, you know, they, they do vary a little bit. You know, if you look, you'll see some are 450 and some are 500, some are 750. They're all about the same size. Some are like 140 degrees, some are 120 degrees. I, I don't really care, right? I, it's This is not, you know, some are a little bit higher than the others. To me, this doesn't matter. Like for you, it might. I will say that if you're making something where there's an, a, an array of LEDs, like you're making a matrix of LEDs, you really want them to be matched. Like it has to be all one supplier and it has to be the same. You know, re, all, the, all the reels have to be the same because they're real, you, you will notice the differences when you see them side by side. But if it's just for a power LED, like nobody's gonna notice, in my opinion. Um, so here's something interesting. So the top link here is actually from American Opto Plus. This is a marketplace product. 
which I guess is this, you know, it's, it's kind of like, um, a little bit like eBay or like Etsy. It's like you're you're purchasing it through DigiKey, but the product is actually shipped to you from someplace else. You're not going to get it next day, like you know, classic DigiKey quickness. So if that's important to you, um, but it is a little cheaper to get them from these other places. So if you don't care about the, um, if you don't care about the speed, you know, marketplace will will give you the most options. But let's say we we don't want to have the the marketplace options. Um, so now, you know, it's, it's a matter of, of pricing. So we can put in, you know, I want to buy at least a thousand. So show the pricing at a thousand. Um, and you know, basically you can get them for as little as eight cents. I kind of like this one, um, because again, it, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but they have a lot in stock, which I always like to see. Um, the price is good, you know, eight cents a piece in quantity. And this one is like super, super bright, 720 millicandela. So it's so bright, you know, you might even be able to get away with a 20K um, choke resistor and still have it be very visible. But it's a hack, right? This is supposed to be like an illuminating LED, but I'm just like way, 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 way under driving it. Um, and they're, they're happy to be one off of 3.3 volts when you do that because the forward voltage is, is at the beginning of that curve. Um, and it'll look great. So this is what I sent the person is what I recommend. So it's, it's a cute little LED. Um, I like that it only has five week lead time. You can get them for about eight cents and they come in, in reels and tape and all that good stuff. So you wanna have a cute little LED? This one, I think will do the job quite all well. All right, and uh, from the chat here, Skr says this is a great search, great search tonight because I'm getting ready to build final build materials for some boards I'm working on and looking for some nice green LEDs. I've used yellow green LEDs, so I definitely agree on the overall visual quality. It's it's a it's more for me it's a power thing. You know, when you use the, the yellow green LEDs, I find you just have to drive them a little bit you have to drive them a little bit harder um, for like to get the for the cheap ones. Whereas these pure greens, I find that they you can you can get away with a lot less current. Um, and still have them be quite visible. So for me, I you know look I, I, I don't care that much about power for these breakout boards, but like I don't want to draw 20 milliamps for no reason when I can draw 0.1 milliamps, right? Why use the power? With that, it's a great search. All right, thank you. Where in the world is